Freestyle Extreme is a UK business success story. It started off selling motocross accessories on eBay, but has since grown into one of the UK's largest online action sports retailers. The company regularly ships to 60 countries and employs 85 staff at its Bristol warehouse. But its owners say a no-deal Brexit will destroy it. We go toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, dealers right the way across Europe in their own countries. Uh, we can match them on price and we can ship into any major market in Europe within 24 hours. A no-deal Brexit means that we will be more expensive and we will not be able to ship in that time frame. We'll be completely uncompetitive and we simply won't have a business left. If the UK leaves the European Union without a deal, then it will be trading on World Trade Organization rules. That means there will be border and customs checks, which will delay shipments, and tariffs will also be added to products. At the moment, Freestyle Extreme sells this Globe skate shoe for $74. But in a no-deal Brexit, that would go up to 86 because a tariff has to be added. And suddenly, for a customer in Europe, it becomes much cheaper to buy this shoe from someone else. So Sean has made the tough decision to relocate his business to Europe. He's opened an office in Bucharest and a warehouse in Slovakia, meaning most of these workers in Bristol will lose their jobs. Even worse, if the UK does do a deal with the EU before Brexit, then the move will have been in vain. You can't wait. If you wait, you're relying on the government to pull a trade deal out of the bag five minutes to 12 uh, on the 29th of March. And you, you can't have your whole business hoping that that happens. You, you've got to make decisions. And it's not just small business that's affected. Corporate giants like Airbus are also threatening to leave the UK if it ends up with a no-deal Brexit. Sony has already announced it's moving its European headquarters from Britain to the Netherlands. And the British Chambers of Commerce says plenty more businesses are now activating contingency plans. Now that could be changing their geography or their supply chain, it could be moving to new offices. But it's, what we're also seeing is they're actually delaying investment activity and business activity which is having real impacts on the wider economy. British business confidence has now slipped to its lowest level since June 2016, the month of the Brexit referendum. It's yet another sign that suggests Brexit has been bad for business. Sarah Morris, TRT World, Bristol.